Happy Friday to the Whack Pack. That's right, this is the Whack Pack where Rip rips open a new pack of trading cards every day. And we got a special guest coming on because we got some new cards to bust open. Augie, just go ahead and request to go. There we go. Perfect. Let's get him on in. Gabs, how's it going? So happy you're finally able to make one of these live. Throw it up for a Friday. Hey, what's oh, up? Dude. How's it going, my dude? Good. Let me close my closet so I don't see if I fuck my closet. Yeah. No, okay. we're going to. This is room rated again. Stay. Well, um, I also realized this is going to be. We're probably both going to have the same experience here because I started playing hockey in 93, and these cards are 90. Uh, well, thanks for the uh, the intro. We're going to open up. Oh, shit. A Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna open up a brand new uh, box of uh, Bowman 1990 hockey bubblegum cards. Uh, how many packs are my hair? How many packs are in that box? Did you say something about your hair? Um, yeah, I'll find all the place. Anyways. Um, it doesn't say how many packs are in the box. We're about to find out, but it does give you the ingredients for the gum. Oh. Uh, which are dextrose, corn syrup, gum base, softeners, natural and artificial flavors, artificial colors, and BHT, you know, to maintain freshness. Uh, the reason I bring up the gum is because since it is ha uh, hashtag uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, we are raising money for Stronger Than Stigma. Uh, we have the actual founder here watching the stream live. Uh, hey, again, Gabs. Um, for every $100 that we raise, I will eat the gum. What, what year is that gum from? This gum is from 1989. So mm. this would potentially be some fresher gum. Oh, that's why you did it. Cool. Yeah. I've already eaten one piece of gum uh, this week, which means we've raised $100, which rules. Uh, but yeah, so it's for every $100. I keep a running total. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's for a great cause, but it's awful for my mouth. But yeah, it, the reaction is great, I, I assume. Also, beer with gum, you know. Um, I, I got a napkin here. Uh, it helps. I'll say that. It helps. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let me go ahead and open these up. So, you said you started playing hockey in 1993, which is also the same year the Florida Panthers which uh, came is into existence. Of course, you live down in Miami. Which is why I got started, actually. Yeah. Oh, Kristen joined. What's up, Kristen? Hello. See you again. These cost nine ninety nine at the time. I bought them for not much more. Uh, shipping and handling, if anything, was the biggest issue. Uh, the packs were fifty cents a piece. So, so if you would like some, let me know, and I'll send you some. You've been doing this. The the rip rips open a pack for how long now? Uh, a little over two weeks. Any good? What, what have been like the top five cards you've, or top three, top three cards you've gotten? Uh, the I got a rookie Roberto Alomar like in one of the first streams. Oh, nice. Uh, and then the pack that I opened with uh, Osman the other day was actually kind of a fucking banger, like Bo Jackson and like. Oh, there's a few more that are very good. I keep like all the good ones separately. Uh, Reggie Jackson, Barry Bonds. Yeah, it was good. Nice. Anything yeah. you've looked? Anything worth anything? You looked. Oh, up? pretty much. So here's uh, the history on the cards that I'm opening. Pretty much anything that I'm going to be opening in this series, I'm getting for cheap because it was part of the the uh, what's called is like the junk wax era, which was like from like '84 or something to like '93 or something like that. When just the market was just fucking flooded. There was no uh, value whatsoever to be had. Um, and then little would anyone know, X number of years later, in the middle of a pandemic, Rip's going to rip them all open, baby. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's do it. So these are uh, wax sealed packs. You hear that gum in there. Uh, cool. Cool. So yeah, Bowman, Premier Edition, 14 picture cards, one glossy card, one stick of bubble gum. Let's see that gum. 
All right, let's get to the gum. Oh, boy, this wax is put together. I had the first one I've had to rip. Oh, it is broken apart. The gum. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So is the first one. I'm still going to keep it in the little Tupperware here. So what you're saying is the gum from 1989 stands up better than the gum from 1990. You know, it's really hit or miss. Right. Did I just see Matt Calford join? What's happening, Matt Calford? Uh, Jacksonville's premier improv comedy. Uh, I want to go ahead and worry about that later. Um, yeah, uh, for everyone joining, uh, we're talking about the gum because you see here we got a fundraiser going. For every $100 raised, I will eat a stick of old ass trading card bubble gum. Uh, it's a rolling total, so if you donate a few bucks today, that'll go towards the $100 tomorrow. So yeah, without further ado, let's start going through these cards. Uh, first one we got here, Devil's uh, player, John, John McLean. Oh man, that's old school Devils with the green pants, which doesn't match at all. Oh, those are green pants. Are they going for like a Christmas thing? I, that was, I don't know, an old thing they did. Just, their, their jerseys are black and red and white, and then you put green pants. It just didn't really make any sense. Anyway, go yeah. on. So, some of these, oh, this is uh, from the Topps company. So these technically are Topps cards. Jessica, how's it going? Welcome. Um, yeah, normally, like, a lot of these cards have little fun facts, but no, shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no fun facts here. Just uh, last amateur club was the Oshawa Generals. Which is a minor league team. Yes. Uh, let's see. Next up here uh, for the uh, Hartford Whalers, Scott Young. Scotty Young. Hartford Bring Whalers, not on the team anymore. Uh, <laughs> last amateur club, and the U.S. Olympic team. You know, no big deal. Man. Killer stats so far, 0 for 2. Yeah, for real. Well, here's at least an interesting name. Those two were very uh, Tope. generic names. Here we have Sylvian Turgeon for the, your New Jersey Devils. So, so far, two Devils out of nowhere. Tope, how's it going, baby? Turgeon, huh? Where the hell's he from? Uh, he is, he's from Quebec. N Norida. Noranda. Uh, last amateur club was the Hull Olympics. Uh, oh, Scott Young coaches a D1. Shit. Johnny. You, Johnny. We're getting freaking facts here. Yeah, that's Johnny. Johnny's a, uh, the hockey director for Kendall Ice Arena, so he would probably. Okay. Know. Yeah. There we go. Mm. We should also say, Augie, your cr hockey credentials here, owner proprietor of Miami Roller Hockey. Oh, uh, so yeah. Give them a look, see. Yeah, uh, well, when we open again. Well, yeah, I mean, just uh, so you know when that happens, where where they got to find you. MiamiRollerHockey.com. Check yeah. it out. I'll make sure as soon as we open, we'll post on there for sure. Uh, here for the uh, Minnesota North Stars, I'm going to take a, a whack at this name. This is probably going to be what gives me the most name troubles here. Uh, Dave Gagne? Is that Dave Gagne? Dave Gagne. Dave and Gagne. Fun fact, you've opened up four cards, and two of the uh, – Three total teams. Two of those three teams do not exist anymore. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there we go. We're going through uh, the dang uh, annals of history here. Mullet, thank you very much for pointing out the Augie and credentials. Name a weirder duo. That's uh, true. Um, uh, Augie and Forge credentials. That's a, a trio that just fits. Also, I'm I'm glad you got a whole box of hockey cards because I don't want to be the only one to be on here with hockey cards. I want to see Mullet reveal a pack of hockey cards with you. I will make I will send him packs so he has to say these names. Yeah, uh, this guy just sounds like a, a '70s singer songwriter. We got Brian Fogarty for the Quebec Quebec Nordiques. Augie, who the fuck are they? That's yeah, yeah another team that does not exist right now. That became I believe they became the Avalanche, Colorado Avalanche. Jesus. Okay. So, so far, it sounds like these uh, cards are cursed. Yeah. Yeah, well. Uh, awful name. This guy looks like his name. Again, for the Hartford Whalers, Adam Burt. Adam Burt. 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 Just look at that, that dumbass face. 
Like, that's a face that you get in a hockey two punch. Now, this is a hockey face coming up right here. I fucking did the other night after cats. I was in no condition to do so. What's talking about? Okay. Um, this guy's one letter short from the coolest fucking name of all time. Uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Rob Ramage. Rob Ramage. Uh, missing the P. Exactly. Rob Rampage? What the fuck? That'd be the best. Uh, now we got a little... Okay, here's the uh, glossy card, I think. Because it's got a bit of a special thing on the back. Uh, for Mike Gartner, it's a special hat trick card. Mike Gartner Ranger, he's a top, uh, top producer for the Rangers, too. He probably has some good stats on the back of that card. Well, yeah, he was one of eight players to record a hat trick during the 1990 playoffs. So there you go. Sure. Let's turn these back upside down. Uh, I think this name kind of rings a bell. Again, we got some green pants devils here. Uh, Brendan Shanahan. Oh, but you probably know him more from when he was on the uh, Detroit Red Wings. So that probably. was after that card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His last amateur club was the London Knights. I'm assuming London, Ontario? Yep. Yep. Uh, Bob Sweeney Todd, center Ooh, for the Boston Sweeney. Bruins. Those are actually some pretty good cards. I mean, I know they're, again, it's a mass-produced, they're over-flooded market, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We did do that. I completely forgot about this. So after we watched Cats with the whole Swaggle Squad, uh... It was Mimo and Tope, and then, or, yeah, and uh, we opened a pack of hockey cards on Zoom. Father scored 30 goals in 10 years. Barely remember that. Uh, for the Winnipeg Jets, they're back now, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. They okay. Are. They are. Different jerseys, different, but yes, they are. They're back. Uh, this, this guy just sounds like a, like a, prep, like a prep school asshole. Uh, Brent Ashton. A lot of them is uh, are prep school assholes. Nice jersey though. Ashton. Here's Shanahan is the NSL NHL disciplinary commissioner. Interesting. All right, we're coming down uh, here. Oh, again. The one thing I do love here: some primo hockey looks. Uh, for the Montreal Canadiens, it's Mike McPhee. Look at that. Fucking mustache. Yeah, mustache. He's oh, got the yeah. mustache and the stubble thing going on. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's like old perfect. school. Perfect. All right, so his stats, right? I don't know if he shows on the back of the card. Does he have, like, way more, like, penalty minutes than anything else? Because he looks like he'd be a tough type of dude. It does not show penalty minutes. I don't think they were exactly tracking that, at least for these cards. It has games played, goals, assists, and points. Ah. Uh, yeah. Typical stuff. All right. Um, here we go. Uh, oh, boy, mama. All right, here's a goalie for the Hartford Whalers. Uh, <laughs> Peter Sidorkiewicz? Peter Sidorkiewicz. Uh, from Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bialo Staka, Poland. <coughs> oh. Clearly a very well-known player. Holy shit, that's a long back card. Oh, yeah, they're all like this. I think it's like game by game or some shit. I don't know, or like highlights of games. Oh, okay. I thought he had like a long career, and I was like, dude, I don't know that name. Never heard of him before. No, yeah, they're all long like that. Uh, our penultimate call card here, uh, defense for the Buffalo Sabres. I didn't know the Buffalo Sabres went back that far. Uh, we got here uh, Dean Kennedy. Kennedy. Well, you're, you're probably thinking of the other. Okay, so the in that's the old Sabers. Then they turned into like a red. Well, it was mainly white, black, and red. The other with the big buffalo head. Mm -hmm. That was like the '90s Sabers, and then they ended up. Now they're going back to these jerseys with the blue and the yellow again. So they just decided to change their colors and logo, whatever the hell they feel like it, because you know they're Buffalo. It just feels like a team that's like that was like an expansion team in the '90s, like the mid '90s. Yeah, I didn't think yeah that they would actually they'd been around that long. Uh, and then, you know, I loved his, his wide receiving football career, defense for the Edmonton Oriole, or Oilers, Steve Smith. Steve Smith, oh, yeah. Steve Smith Sr. 
Steve entered NHL in 66, Johnny says. Oh, really? Mm. That, that would have uh, f- fucked me up in trivia. Uh, this guy's from Glasgow, Scotland. Hey, we know somebody from Glasgow, Scotland. What are there chances? Is there a lot of hockey in Scotland? Yeah, we need, we need him. Uh, what is it? Scott from Glasgow? John. John from Glasgow. All right, so we need John from Glasgow it. to send us some stats on Steve Smith. Um, well, that does it. That was our last card. Uh, how do you feel about this fact? Smith's son plays for Anaheim. Man, I don't, I'm just as lost as you are because this is back in, like I said, back in the 90s, I thought I would know. Maybe, I, I'm surprised I knew, like, like Brendan Shanahan. That was, you know, I, that was, I guess that was before he went to Detroit. But Brendan Shanahan, Sweeney. Um, there was one other one in there that we knew. Um, oh, Mike Gardner. So, you know, some of those names I knew, but majority of them, that's a 90s, baby. I don't know shit. Yep, and we have um, at least... You know, at least this many left. Nice. Uh, uh, this is a lot. This is what we call a lot of content. So you mentioned also um, that you would love to have Mullet on there just to see how I could pronounce the names. Are there any like specific leagues in China or Japan that have playing cards that you could possibly purchase to have Mullet try to say I, those names? Well, look. All right, I've already bought way too many cards this week. Um. So the next time I do need a re-up, yeah, I'll be looking for those. Yeah, like Japanese baseball cards. Sent, like, I'll, that'll be awesome. I'll have them sent directly to him. Just buy yes. past myself. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Randy Hernandez, Team USA, had 16 legacy out of 24 players. Hot dog. So Randy Hernandez is a kid from actually down here who started who picked up the skates way late, probably like, I don't know, 11, 12, 13, 14. And he's right now on the USA development team. And so that's <laughs> what he's saying. He's saying 16 out of 24 players were – Legacy, so I guess dad's grandfather, yeah. something like that, hanging Second, out. Second, third generations. Yeah. The, uh, it was Legacy, wasn't it? Art, Randy Orton. Orton. DiBiase. Ted DiBiase Jr. And, and the owner of AEW. There you go. Uh, Codifius Rhodes. Um, cool, man. Well, thanks for uh, joining me. Feel free. To you know, come on back whenever you want. I'll let you know whenever I'm opening up hockey cards. For sure, uh, man. My my, t- my lag is horrible, and all I heard is mullet cards and names. I'm terrified. You fucking should be. Yep. We're gonna see if they got some Japanese baseball cards for you, French or uh, Korean baseball cards. Uh, that's the only sport going right now. Ah. Um. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. This was uh, eye opening and fun. Yeah. Get ready and, uh, for like you know, thirty six more. Definitely let me know, not just hockey, but let me know the next time we reach that next 100 goal. I would love to watch you chew some gum from 1989. Well, I mean, you know, we never know when it's going to happen. So it's one of those things you just got to keep tuning in for, you know, keep track. We got, oh, son of a bitch. We got a $20 donation. Who was that from? Japanese baseball stuff. Let me see. I'll be no more. Uh, oh, that's from Ugman. Oh, thanks. Oh, my dad's watching. Oh, dad. He jumped on. I didn't know he was still watching. All right. Uh, well, I'll make... AEW's wife was a figure skating coach. I'll That's make sure. sure. I don't think so. What's her name? What's Cody Rose's wife's name? Well, so Cody isn't the uh, owner. He's the executive vice president. The owner's Tony Khan. The guy from Jacksonville. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, B. Sumner, there are KBO cards. <laughs> I'm sick and I know this. You dirty dog. All right. So the new count, we're up to 20 bucks. And, of course, that is for Stronger Than Stigma, it being Mental Health, Health Awareness Month for the rest of the month. Uh, we are we – so Brandy Rhodes was the figure skating. What? Okay, that's crazy. Mental Health Awareness Month, Stronger Than Stigma. Uh, for every $100, I'm going to eat the old gum. It's right here. Mullet said well, he's these... trying to donate, too, so that's coming soon. Okay, great. Uh, there are at least – 35 more, I'm guessing. Sticks of gum in there. So, you know, we got product. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. Cool. Even if you got to piece it back together, man, piece by piece. I think we should make you glue the pieces of gum together that, that are broken up, and then you can eat it. I don't know if that's safe. I'm not trying to fucking die, Augie. Hmm. Whatever. I'm not trying to inject disinfectant or Lysol or some shit. Just wow. gum. 
Thanks that, for joining, John. Thanks, um, man. Yeah, I, I will eat the pieces. Like the last time we did this, like the, someone donated $50 and then had to leave early. He's like, hey, can I see at least a little bit? So I, I was able to do like half of it. And then I finished the half at the, at the end. So, you know, it's fun. We're, we, we work with people here on the Whack Pack. Um, cool, man. Let people know again uh, where to find out more about Miami roller hockey. Oh, yeah. So if you're down in uh, South Florida, Miami specifically, and you want to play some roller hockey, come check out MiamiRollerHockey.com. We actually, not just roller hockey, we actually have some futsal groups that rent the rink from us, some roller derby girls, some lacrosse. Uh, so it's just like a plethora of shit going on at the rink, but you know, hopefully we get open up to here soon. But, uh, in the meantime, keep checking out the whack pack with Rich every day, which has uh, been a shit ton of fun. I always like to jump in every once in a while, but, um, definitely let me know when you're chewing that next piece of gum. Cause I want to see that. Great. I will. Absolutely. Yeah. It's so good. So good. Mullet. Oh man. Did we lose Rich to COVID? No. Baseball card gum. Baseball card gum. You're no mo. I saw that earlier. Um, all right, Augie. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks for everyone for watching. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll be back throughout the weekend uh, doing more of this. And yeah, right here. Follow me. Get the notifications. Uh, and let's raise some more money for uh, Stronger Than Stigma and open up some more baseball cards. Uh, might have a special episode coming up this weekend. i got to figure some stuff out. Um, Till then, uh, Augie, do your thing. Uh, again, MiamiRollerHockey.com. And for me, uh, yeah, just stay safe. Thanks again, uh, Augie's dad, who is also <laughs> Augie. Um, yeah, Augie so Senior. Thanks to all the Augies. I'll make sure, uh, I'll make sure to let him know too when you're gonna have that gum. So excellent. Watch. You gotta see. You gotta see your investment uh, in work. Uh, you know, being played out. You're live on Instagram awesome. at Rich Cami, the Whack Pack. Rip will rip open another pack of trading cards tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, stay safe. Stay sane. Have a good one. Happy Friday. Bye, guys.